Hello everyone, welcome to my course, Analytics for Macro Marketing Data. In this video, I'm going to introduce this course and important things to know to take the course. My name is Dong Su Kim. Dong Su is my first name and Kim is my last name. And I'm currently an assistant professor of marketing at the Ohio State University. Here is my contact information. Email is preferred, so please use email instead of phone call. And this course is basically an on online class, but we have three in-person meetings on every other Saturday. Here is the class time and classroom information. I don't have a fixed office hour. Instead, you can make a Zoom appointment through email. Before talking about the course, let me introduce myself a little bit more. I'm a social economist and an academic researcher for consumer demand using quantitative method. I received my PhD degree from KAIST, one of the top schools in South Korea, and I joined OSU as a faculty member in 2018. My research focuses on consumer demand and choice, machine learning method, and Bayesian estimation, and entertainment markets, including sports and K-pop. Now let's talk about the course. First, course materials. There are no required textbooks. All required course materials will be provided through our course webpage. However, several articles are available at Harvard Business Publishing only. To download such articles, you may need to register and purchase the access to the articles. Please understand that I cannot distribute those articles in class due to the copyright. For your convenience, a course pack for our class is provided. You can access the course pack page through the link in our course web page and purchase the articles at once. Again, other required materials are available in the module of each week. This shows how our course pack looks like. You can purchase all HBP articles through this course pack page at once. Price is reasonable, for 25 each. There are some optional materials, including these three textbooks. A free version is available for each of them, so I strongly recommend you to read the textbooks. Some chapters of the textbooks are required, and you can find which chapters are the required ones in our course webpage. And again, other optional materials are available in the module of each week. Some optional materials are very technical. You don't need to understand all of technical parts of the materials. I provide such technical materials for students who want to learn more beyond this course. Let's move on to the learning objectives of this course. This course is a six-week course. During the six weeks, you will learn several methods for causal prediction of demand with macro marketing data. In detail, you will learn basic tools during the first two weeks. It includes the role of demand predictions in firms' decision-making process, linear regression and demand models, and price elasticities and optimal pricing. During the next two weeks, you will learn more about the basic tools. It includes market share models, detailed concepts of data, and data aggregation, seasonality, and carryover effects. In week five, you will learn about causality and causal analysis. Causality is the most important concept to empirically analyze the effect of a marketing intervention on consumer demand. You will learn how to statistically describe the causal effect of a marketing intervention through potential outcomes causal model. And the key to causal analysis is to understand and handle endogeneity. You will also learn how to handle endogeneity using instrument variable regression. The last week is the wrap-up week. I will briefly introduce machine learning and big data in marketing. 
In addition, there are three optional lectures for advanced identification methodologies for causal effects, including difference in differences, regression discontinuity, and synthetic control methods. They are not required, but you can get extra credits if you successfully complete those optional lectures. Let me talk about class logistics. Again, this course is basically an online course, so most of your class activities will be provided through weekly online module in the course web page. In each week, one, two, or three asynchronous recorded video lectures are provided. You may watch the lecture video to understand basic concepts. For your better understanding, several required and optional reading materials are also provided. After finishing lecture video and reading materials, you may take an online quiz for your self-evaluation. All of quiz questions are true first or multiple choice questions asking the essential in the lectures. The quiz is open book without time limit. You can spend time as much as you want, and you can use any materials during the quiz, including the slide PDF files, reading materials, and even Google and ChatGPT if you want. Because the purpose of this quiz is to let you study. And there will be a hands-on exercise assignment in R with real data. Each exercise is associated with the subtopic of the week, and all data and materials are provided through the course web page. Following the instructions in the materials, you will learn how to actually do analysis with real data. For each exercise, there will be several questions and you have to submit your answers to those questions after the exercises. In addition to the weekly modules, we have three in-person classes on Saturdays. During the in-person meetings, you will do more exercises with my demonstration and group research project activities. I'm going to talk about more details of the group research project later. And if time permits, we will have a Q&A session for the hands-on exercises in the online modules. For the in-person classes, virtual attendance is allowed only for the situations designated by the school and the program. For the details about such situations, please contact the program office or program coordinator. This is a screenshot of weekly online module. You will start with the overview of the module. In this example, there are two lecture videos with some readings. Once you finish the lectures, you will take the quiz, then you will do a hands-on exercise assignment. For the week with an in-person meeting, there is a page for materials for the meeting. This is a screenshot of a lecture page. Here are the links for reading materials. You may read the materials before or after watching the lecture video. And here is the lecture video. The video is on my YouTube channel, so you can directly watch it on YouTube page as well. And no worries about ads. All of my lecture videos are designated as non-profit educational videos, so there are no ads during the lecture. Also, for your convenience, the PDF of slides used in the lecture video is also provided here. You can simply download it before watching the video. This shows how each hands-on exercise looks like. Please carefully read the directions. All exercise materials, data files, and assignment questions are provided here. After downloading all of the files, you may follow the instructions in the material file with the data files. Then you may answer the questions in the assignment file. Once you finish the exercise, you will submit your assignment file. This shows how in-person class web pages look like. In the agenda section, you will access all files to be used for in-class activities. 
Do simplest activities are very similar to hands-on exercises, but with my demonstration. Also, there will be details of group research project. All of the materials necessary for the group research project will be provided during the in-person meetings. Now, let me talk about the details of the group research project. The topic of the group research project is the effect of COVID-19 on demand. The COVID-19 pandemic has changed economic and environmental factors that derive consumer demand. As a practice, two product categories are selected for this group research project, breakfast cereal and canned tuna. This research project aims to discover what have changed in consumer demand, including, but not limited to, price sensitivity of consumer demand, brand preference, and other characteristics of demand such as seasonality. So, what to do in the project is to investigate the differences in consumer demand for the product categories between the pre-COVID-19 period versus the COVID-19 pandemic period, considering other factors such as inflation, personal consumption expenditure level for food, and panic buying shock during the first half of the pandemic period. And this is a group assignment, so you will be divided into several groups of three, four, or five students. Four is the ideal number of students in each group, but three or five will be allowed if necessary. Each group picks one product category and analyzes data of the category. Based on your analysis, each group will have a midterm presentation and a final report submission. The detailed schedule of the group project is as follows. In the first in-person meeting, I will introduce the group project again. The data will be distributed during the meeting and you will form the groups. Then, during about a month, you will do analysis. If necessary, you can contact me to get my help or advice for analysis. In the third in-person meeting, you will present your result. The presentation will be brief, so each team will present no more than 10 slides. During the presentation, I will give you my feedback. Based on the feedback, you will fix and finalize your analysis, and at the end of the semester, you will submit the final report of the group project. Next, grading. There are four grading components, quizzes, hands-on exercises, group research project, and attendance and participation. The total score is 100, and here is the proportion of each component. In addition, there are optional lectures and assignments about advanced topics. Once you successfully finish the optional part, you will get extra credits, which will be added to the total score. One thing you have to know is my policy about late submissions. Late submissions are accepted, but there will be a 10% penalty per day after due date. So, if you need more time for the quiz and assignment due to any personal issues, especially for health issues, please email me immediately. We can figure out the best way for both you and me. Last, software. We are using R&R &R Studio. And we also use Tidyverse package to handle the data in R. All of them are free. An instruction note for installation is provided in our course webpage. If you've not yet installed them, please follow the instructions in the note. And if you face any problems with using R and R Studio, please contact me immediately. I can help you. All right, that's the brief introduction of this course. If you have any, any questions about the course, please first see the course syllabus. And if you still have some questions, then please email me with your questions. I will respond to your email as soon as possible. Then, enjoy! Bye-bye!